All right, guys, we are back with a, another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. So what I think we need to do is we need to uh, go ahead and find uh, something to open the airlock door. Uh, anything else going on here? Broken droid components. Cool. Uh, so here's a workbench. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to upgrade uh, my sword I have. So I have the vibro blade that I'm using. Uh, I did find that edge. That's going to allow me to do some more damage uh, versus droid. So some more ion damage here on this fiber blade. I'm going to go ahead and assemble that. And then that's going to make that a little bit stronger. And then I have a minor uniform as well. I don't think... Oh, I do have an underlay. Uh, but it's marked off, so I can't use it. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, in incompatible. Okay, no worries. Uh, not worried about that. I was able to upgrade my fiber blade. So, ooh, there's the sonic imprint sensor. Okay. With the protocols droids help, I've finished the work on the imprint sensors. I've installed them in the mining droids, but I'm locking up the original here to prevent other miners from using its ability to record and playback voices to override the protocols. Cool. Alright, so we found something. Let's go back to our tasks here. Uh, with the sonic imprint sensor, we might be able to record pieces of the maintenance officer's voice from holologs and use them to open the airlock door. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to go back and talk to the droid here. Hello. Greeting. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. How may I be of assistance? Well, um, what's that body over there? Answer. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end. He was quite incoherent from the pain, oh, and attempts guy. to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Oh, man. Uh, did he say anything at the end? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, come with it! Oh, oh no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! I... Oh, stop! Stop, uh, please! Addendum. His oh, remaining man. attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to... Inarticulate. <laughs> uh, can, can you repeat that for me? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, come with it! Oh, oh no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! I, oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. is remaining in... Fantastic. All right, but wait, if you can play back his voice, can't you speak the voice code? Objection. Master, to commit such an act would be in violation of the ethics programming most droids are believed to possess. I am afraid there is nothing that can be done. Uh, never mind. I'll be going now. Okay, so I think you can get him to say it, but I don't think we have. We did the right thing. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, looks like we were able to get a third of the voice print code from one of the holdings, and we just need to find the other fragments. So let's uh, wander through the through the world here. Oh, hey, buddy. No. Oh, Alright, uh, I see your friend over here, and I am going to attack your friend. Alright, so let's do uh, just regular basic attack. Chop, chop, chop. He threw a sonic grenade at me. Oh my gosh, he threw a sonic grenade at me, this guy. Alright, we're gonna hide out over here, and I am going to put on... Uh, do I have a T-Loss mining shield I can put on? I do, I have a bunch, so... Let's go ahead, let's put those mining shields on. We can level up as well. Uh, let's go ahead, let's do that. So attributes, cool. So I can put uh, some more things in attributes. So I'm going to go for strength because I need to hit hard. Uh, skills, uh, I'm liking the demolitions. I'm feeling like that's pretty good. And then uh, force power. So uh, let's see, what can I do? I think there was one that was... Mm, force push, that might be pretty cool. Yeah, we'll do force push. I like that one. All right, sweet. Okay, so my dexterity right now is a four because I got hit by that sonic grenade. 
but uh, we'll be okay here. Alright, we got the Telos Mining Shield. Let's equip that, and let's run out into the world. Here we go, I'll come back for those remains. Let's get this guy. He's throwing grenades at him. Oh, that's right, that's right. Main destroyed, I gotta get him. I get the main destroyed. I keep putting the shield on myself. There we go, alright, that was good. Alright, let's uh, see if we can push him and then we'll attack. Oops. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, I pushed him, did some damage. My mining shields are gone, but that's okay. Right, let's get this guy. Force push? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, here comes some big daddies. Here comes some thick boys. At least thick boys coming. Uh, okay, so this is what we're gonna do here. Uh, let's throw. Oh, those are mines. Okay, let's throw a ion grenade at the middle guy and uh, see what happens. Okay, there we go. All right, so those guys got wrecks, and that guy got wrecks. Okay, I think we cleared everyone. Let's go back and get those remains. My my HK friend, what uh, what the heck, man? I thought you were supposed to help me out there. Minor Sonic detonator. Okay, I can probably throw those too. I don't think those will do much, but that's okay. All right, yeah, those thick boys. They were uh, they were behind the door waiting for me. Then they were they were so thick. They were thick for days. Okay, uh, let's switch to my plasma torch and let's do some bashing. There we go. All right. And oh, uh, switch weapons and let's get the attack on him. These guys don't really seem to be that great. They just look really cool. need more experience though, which is cool. Anybody else in here? No. Oh. Ooh. Hey there. Yes. Oh, where did this guy come from? Oh gosh. Look at all his friends coming. Over. Trying to burn me, bro. Maybe I should put the Oh, there we go. Oh, we're, we're, we're cutting. We're, we're cutting. Where did those guys come from? They just came from, like, nowhere. Alright, uh, anything worth my while in here? No, there's nothing in here. I came in here for no reason. Oh my gosh. That's the worst. Okay. Uh, what do we got over here? Uh, the turbo lift. I think this is where we need access to. Administration level. Uh, I think I do need to go this way to get a part of the code. Um, so the emergency blast door opens from the inside, which is good. So now I'm back on the admin level. Okay, cool. So where's admin? Let's talk to him. Hey there. Glad you survived the tunnels. Find anything while you were down there? Yes, Found I anything? I found a talkative protocol droid down in the fuel depot. Yeah? Did you blow it up? Uh, why would I do that? Because droids can't be trusted. What? Uh, anyway, I need to open an airlock, uh, but it's sealed with a voice print protocol by the maintenance officer. Voice print? Great. That means he'd have to speak the code. And he's dead, right? Uh, it looks that way. There's ways to beat voice prints, though. If you can get samples of his voice in the right words, you should be able to fake the voice print code, if you know what it is. You know, I do know what it I is. overheard the maintenance officer getting chewed out by the security officer. You might want to check the security office on this level and see if there's any voice samples stored in the logs. Uh -huh. Maybe there's samples of the code in the maintenance officer's hollow logs, if you can find a way to record them. I do. I have a sonic sensor and the code. I just need to find the right words to record. Well, that's a start. See if you can find any recordings where the maintenance officer is speaking, and try to piece together the words to unlock the voice print. Um, the miners may still be alive, though, and they're trapped in the dormitory section. So they are still alive. But the dormitory comm isn't picking up anything. Is there any way to get to them? Uh, yeah, I need to open an airlock, uh, but it's sealed. We already, uh, we already talked about it, so... None that I know. There may be some emergency route to get to them. Still, maybe we should leave them where they are and try to get to the hangar. Mm -hmm. If they wanted to sell you to the exchange, we should make a clean getaway while we can. I mean... Uh, I mean, I'm, I don't want to leave them helpless and trapped. You mean like they did to you? You're pretty forgiving. Thanks, man. Um, alright, I'll return if I need anything. 
Alright, so we got some lightside points, that's cool. Alright, let's uh, go, I think we need to look at some logs, so let's go ahead and check out logs. I think there's a desk over here somewhere that has a log in it. Should we check on Kriya? I don't think we need to check on Kriya, do we? Security desk, this is what he said. Okay, uh, security record, sonic sensor, beautiful. So, you're in maintenance. I'm gonna forward this because we saw this sir. already in another episode. So I... in the... Yes, sir. Idiot. Idiot. Cool. Okay, so I got another piece of the... I got another piece of the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, recording. Okay, great. Um, voice print protocol. You were able to get a second part of the voice print code from one of the hollow logs. Now you just need to find one last fragment and we should have the complete code. Okay. Great, yeah, uh, one more fragment, uh, so I'll probably go back, I don't think there's any other logs on the admin level here, so I think I'll go back to the, uh, wherever I was, I, I forget what it was called. <laughs> what was it called? Uh, the Fuel Depot, yeah, yeah, there we go, that's what it was called. I think this is where I was, okay, uh, let's go in here, in here. Uh, maintenance station. This might be, uh, this might work. Uh, access maintenance logs. There's the sonic sensor one. Cool, let's go through these here real quick though, I want to see. Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. Mm. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Smart. Uh, Ebon Hawk droids? Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebon Hawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. Hmm. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions <laughs> about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior course. So oh no. There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Oh no. I think the HK droid messed him up. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi in Medbay. I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. Nope, the still here, my guy. His master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy. And that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Hmm. That can't be good. Everyone knows that all the Jedi who followed Revan fell to the dark side. Hmm. Interesting. Exchange bounty. Been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda, Korda maybe he's behind all of this. Huge bounty on Jedi Knights, and then we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shadda. Security shot down that idea pretty quick. Oh yeah, of course. But I don't think Korda and his men are gonna give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid, and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't. Korda wouldn't what? When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebon Hawk, I saw a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter, but I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. Hmm. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. Okay, and then uh, security problems. The the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance, and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility. Maybe Corta. Droids to do it. We haven't seen Corta yet though, so maybe it's not him. All right. What else can we do? Um, sonic sensor and her voice print code. Okay, let's do it. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. Dope. Alright, open airlock. Cool. That was easy. Return to main console functions. Uh, emergency subroutines. Check exits from fuel depot. Check containment fields. Uh, containment field activated. Trace source of the breach. System is registering a blast in one of the main fuel lines. The containment field has been activated to keep the explosion isolated within the hangar bay and fuel lines. Okay. Uh, check the other exits from the fuel depot. Uh, do, 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 emergency turbo lift shutdown, airlock active. Okay. Uh, let's check this transmission. Turbo lifted admin access denied. 
Alright. How about turbo lift and mining tunnels? Access denied. Uh, how about airlock? Yeah, that's what we were just at. Okay. Uh, return to main console functions. Comm system. Uh, run diagnostic. Destroyed. Okay. <laughs> uh, severed with the laser drill. Alright, so definitely someone is... Team and fields. I need to shut those down, I think. However, new programming has been introduced to keep it from opening, even if the lockdown is cancelled. There's no way to shut down the field that you can see from this terminal. This means anyone inside the facility is effectively cut off from the hangar bay. Great. Here's the maintenance level. Uh, fuel line sensors. F fuel line deposits fuel into starships, but since no ships are docked, it is sealed. Okay. There appears to be a damaged three T3 unit dumped in the fuel line. Yeah, that's probably our T3. Metal case next to it. I think we saw that as well. Cool, I think we're good here. 900 experience. What? Alright, good stuff. Let's take a look. That was a task we finished. Cool. Uh, so we have to... Yeah, the voice print protocol is done. Uh, we found T3M4 damaged in the fuel line pipes in the Paragus fuel depot. He looks damaged, but we have no idea how he got up there. Okay. Uh, so, recover Evan Hog. Alright, so it looks like I gotta get to the dormitories. How do I do that? Ah, floating mines. Um. Stun droid? That's insane. Nah, I'll, just, I'll just let him hit me. You're not gonna do much. Oh, I got him right then. Uh, they didn't really do much damage, so I'm not too worried. Uh, I think... Let's take a look over here. Any slackers? No. Uh, I am going to save it real quick. Since we did all that already. Beautiful. Alright, let's open this up here. Airlock, inner door. Uh, what is... In order to exit the airlock, you will need to equip a spacesuit. Uh, let's in the locker here. Spacesuit. Cool. Let's do it. Let's go to the exterior <laughs> of the asteroid. And we are in a spacesuit. Look at us go. Uh, I remember from the very first game, there was a, a thing like this where you had to walk through a, a spaceship or the exterior of uh, in in space, and it was so slow to like walk through. It was like really painful. I'm glad they made this a lot faster. Hey, here's the admin level. There's Atten. Hey, buddy. How you doing? That's about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid's surface. That can't be right. Uh, I'm right outside the observation window. Huh? What are you doing out there? Just chilling. Uh, well, I need to reach the miners in the dormitory section. That's the only way to get there, man. You're crazy. Even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there, quick. Why? Something wrong? What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. Hmm. They're venting Paragus fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. Interesting. Uh, can you shut them down? I can't. I'm locked out of the main systems here. I couldn't hmm. shut it down if I tried. The yeah. vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes, it's almost as <laughs> if... Now what now? I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in, sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about this. There's a ship coming in, sending a docking code. Okay, this should be good. What is this? Is this the Harbinger? Oh man, all those people have bit the dust. Alright. There he is, the man himself, Darth Sion. For all those Galaxy of Heroes players out there, this is where Darth Sion makes his appearance. 
uh, part of that Sith triumvirate between Sion, Nihilus, and Treya. Uh, so yeah, there he is, Darth Sion, the man himself, making an early appearance in this game as kind of the main, uh, the main villain. So we'll, uh, we'll see. He looks like he uh, killed all those people, which is uh, not cool, man. It's not cool to do that to those people. Here comes the ship. Alright, so it looks like I'm just chilling on the exterior. And there is the ship coming in. I, I believe it is the Harbinger. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. It could be Ron. Um, but I think that we have to go through the fuel lines of the Harbinger to get to the hangar. If I remember correctly, I could be Ron. Uh, if anybody else has played this or knows or remembers, uh, comment down below. Would love to hear uh, what you guys have to say about that. Uh, but yeah, this should be uh, should be interesting here. This is an interesting little twist of events. But uh, we'll get to the dormitories and uh, see what's going on there. A little bit long of a cutscene here. I didn't think this was 100% uh, necessary. And here comes the fuel line, there it goes, and it is connected, okay, and it is connected through the walkway as well, okay, interesting. Alright, journal entry added, what is it? Alright, recover Ebon Hawk. Although HK Protocol Droid told you to see if you can find the administrative officer in the dormitory, to see if he has the access code, a Republic ship has docked in the mining facility. It is possible that you could use the fuel connection to bypass the force field in the fuel depot and enter the hangar from another direction by passing the force field entirely. Okay, so that seems to me like that's what we're going to need to do. But. Let's get to the dormitories first. Let's see if the admin officer is still alive. My guess is that he's not. Um, I don't really remember this part. I, I have played this before, but don't really remember what happened. So, All right, I made it to the dormitory level. Whew. Okay, I've got my airlock inner door. My spacesuit's off, and there are some droids. Okay, what can we do here? Let's uh, attack. Yeah, shall we? My enjoy. Okay. Kill that one pretty quick. Uh, let's stun him and then. Uh, really work hard. Let's. Uh, I think we just got to run up and attack him. I think that's our best bet. Yeah, it's one too much. Uh, definitely our best bet. Med pack. I uh, don't seem to be needing those. If you guys noticed. Uh, in this game, uh, there is a vitality, a vitality regeneration. In the other game, there was not some. Ooh, remains. What do you have on you, pal? You had a Mandalorian <laughs> melee shield. That's hilarious because it's so random. Like, is there somebody knocking behind the door? Oh, hello. I'm going to chop you. Shoot him right in the face. Right in the face again. Sit down, buddy. Sit down. Corpse. A Vibra Blade, 36 credits, and a data pad for storage lock. Alright, now the fire suppression systems have gone active and I can't even make it to the dormitory section. I watched the turrets turn their carbonate freeze rays on May Band before he even got halfway across the room. Fortunately, the range doesn't seem to go beyond the room, so I'm able to remain here safe in the corridor. But I didn't have the range weapons to take him out from a distance, and I didn't have a stealth fuel generator to sneak through the room either. I tried unlocking the storage room door to see if there was any cold resistant items or grenades I could use, but the door was sealed from the lockdown. I don't know enough about security systems to open it, and I didn't have a sign charge to blow it. Okay. Well, I think he's talking about this here. I, my friend, have a plasma torch that I will gladly bash and get this door open, because I am awesome. And here we go. All right, what do we got in here? Bash. Two broken items. All right, not a good start. Uh, what else? Cr 
credits, energy shield, I'll probably equip that. Credits, insulated gloves. Okay, that's what he was talking about. He was talking about the uh, insulation. I miss. <laughs> you suck. There we go. What do we get? Broken item and some chemicals. All right. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do now? Let's switch weapons. Oh, let's go ahead and let's equip that energy shield. I think he said they're behind this door. So I want to make sure that I have the energy shield. I burned through the Telos one by accident, uh, which was annoying. So I need a Telos mining shield. Mandalorian melee shield. It's funny. So it absorbs heat, so not going to be useful against cold, but that's okay. I've got grenades. I'll probably just do that. Uh, let's take a look here. Open the door. Okay, so here's the extinguishers. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to throw. Let's see, I've got some grenades. Alright, so let's throw a sonic grenade first. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's a 20. And then how about a minor sonic detonator? No, no, don't go attack it. Oh my gosh. Get out of there. Alright, minor sonic detonator. Maybe I can kill that thing. Okay, beautiful. I took care of that. Now this one here. Let's throw a sonic grenade again. And then the minor uh, sonic detonator. Oh, nope, cancel. Uh, let me throw another... Uh... Oh man, it can hit me from back there. Okay, uh, let me throw another detonator. Still nothing. Alright, uh, one more. There we go, good. Oof! The range. The range on those. Okay, uh, here's a mine. Let's recover that. Oh my god, what? Come on. Get out of here with that terrible, terrible play. Come on, kitty. Alright, I recovered that mine, good. Here's another corpse. Uh, heal cheat shielding mark one and energy shielding mark one. That's interesting. So those are underlays that can be used for armor, which is pretty cool. Uh, what's behind door number one? Oh, I think that's the dormitories. Okay, uh, let's take a look over here. We got a broken droid and uh, sonic grenade components. Okay, all right, cool. So uh, I think this is the dormitories here. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna call this video for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying this series. Uh, I'm having a great time playing this game. This game is tons of fun. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll explore the dormitories here on the next episode. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.